Okay, so at the end of the previous video I said that we were going to uh, go on to open and close sets in this video. Uh, I lied. Uh, just before um, just before we get on to open and close sets, we're going to have one more video of a few more definitions. Four definitions in this video. Uh, so the first one is, uh, and it's all notation really, um, the first one is the concept of an epsilon neighbourhood. And this is just notation for something that you already know what it is. So an epsilon neighbourhood is just uh, so an epsilon neighbourhood of a point x is the first concept we're going to need. So a point little x, which is an element of big X. So as always, we have a metric space big X with a distance function d on it. An epsilon neighbourhood is just equal to a ball around an open ball around the point little x of size epsilon. That is all an epsilon neighbourhood is. When people say an epsilon neighbourhood around the point x, all they are set mean is an open ball of radius epsilon around a point x. So that is just notation. So that is the concept of an epsilon neighbourhood. Okay, uh, next definition is the definition of a neighbourhood. Neighbourhood. Okay, uh, so the definition of a neighbourhood neighbourhood of a point x again, so of a point x. Okay, so the definition of a neighbourhood of a point x is any set, so a set uh, big M, uh, which contains uh, little x, so x is an element of little m, uh, m is a neighbourhood of x, neighbourhood of x, of little x, which is an element of big x, if Firstly, little x is an element of big M, and uh, there exists an epsilon greater than zero such that the epsilon neighbourhood, i.e. the ball of radius uh, epsilon around, uh, the set, uh, around the point x is completely contained uh, within the set M. Okay, and it doesn't obviously need to be a proper containment, so I could write uh, that uh, is either contained in or it's actually the whole uh, set. Uh, so, uh, if you have a metric space, um, let's say here, which is our set um, X, and you have another set, M, then M is going to be a neighbourhood of a point X, of a little point X, if the little point X is in within M, and I can find you an epsilon greater than zero such that if I take the epsilon neighbourhood around the little x, which is just uh, this open ball, and again I've forgotten to draw it with dashed lines, but never mind, uh, the open ball around x of size epsilon, and that open ball needs to be completely contained uh, within m. Completely contained within m. And note that the open ball could in fact equal m. So for instance, if I, ha if I have another point over here, let's say y, and I have a set uh, which is the ball uh, around y of some radius r, uh, then that would be a neighbourhood. And of course, you could use as the epsilon neighbourhood. You could use the entire ball. You could say this uh, let epsilon equal r r, and this uh, is clearly a neighbourhood because uh, this ball ball y r is contained within the ball y r. So if we let our entire set. Uh, be equal to the ball around a point y of radius r, then that is a neighbourhood of r, uh, clearly because there exists there exists an open uh, well, an open ball uh, of some radius uh, contained within it. And of course, once you've got one ball, uh, once you've got one ball uh, contained within uh, your set big M, let's say, uh, then there are an infinite number of other balls contained within M uh, that are centre the x. All the balls of radius less than uh, than that radius here, epsilon, are also contained within it. So, um, of, uh, in this case, you could view, you could take a smaller ball and say, look, this ball is properly contained in it. But uh, all that, all that, all that big conversation was in aid of is saying that uh, it's uh, contained within or equal to M. Uh, so, a set M is a neighbourhood of a point X if there exists an epsilon neighbourhood uh, around uh, the point X which is completely contained within that set M.
Okay, uh, so that's the definition of a neighbourhood, and note that these sets could take on very strange forms. So I could define M to be this lump here, along with lots of other little points here, and that is still a neighbourhood because there is a um, there is an epsilon neighbourhood uh, of X uh, contained within M. Okay, uh, so that's the definition of a neighbourhood. Next definition is the definition of an interior point of a set. So interior point. Uh, so, um, if uh, we have some set M, which is a subset of our total of our whole metric space X, so again, uh, same picture, we have our set X, we have a other, another set uh, big N here, and uh, we have some little X is a point of uh, big N. So we have little X is an element of this set uh, big M. Uh, then X is said to be an interior point, is said to be an interior point if uh, there exists an epsilon neighbourhood around it which is completely contained within M, around it uh, which is contained in M. Contained in M. Uh, so basically it's this definition from the other way around in a way. Uh, so X is an interior point in M if M is a neighbourhood of X. So basically, um, uh, there ex needs to exist an epsilon greater than zero such that the ball uh, around centred at the point X of radius epsilon is completely contained within the set M. So X is an interior point if you can put a ball, if you can put an open ball, and again I've forgotten to draw the dashed lines, I must uh, make a conscious effort to draw the dashed lines next time. Um, if you can put an open ball uh, of some radius around it, around the point uh, X, um, which is completely contained within the set M, then X is said to be an interior point of the set big M. So basically, it's these two are completely analogous. Um, it's just for, told from the... This one is told from the point of view of the set M, big M, and this one is told from the point of view of the little point X. So if big M is a neighbourhood of a point X, then little x is an, is an interior point of the big set M, basically. So, they're the same thing viewed from the different points of view. Okay, uh, so now what we're going to say is just define the concept of the interior set. So, if you have some set M, which is a subset of the metric space X, so again, our picture here, M, then or you can go through every single point in this big set M. So every little M, which is an element of big M, you can go through it and ask, is it an interior point or not? Now, if it's an interior point, we can put all of the interior points into a set, and that set is called the interior set of M, and it's often given the symbol M0, or you might see it written interior of M. Uh, so that is what is meant by that. It's meant it's it means all the points, a little m, which is an element of big M, such that uh, there exists oh dear there exists an epsilon greater than zero, such that the ball uh, around a little m of radius epsilon is completely contained within uh, the set big M. So it's of a set of all points within the set big M, uh, which are interior points within that big set M. And that's the concept of an interior set. And uh, that's it for this video. Uh, we will, uh, in the next video, we will um, we'll start with the concepts of open and closed sets.